Did you know that NASA has just revealed fascinating new types of stars seemingly fueled by dark matter? Could these stars, detected by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, challenge our understanding of the enigmatic dark matter? Now, we all know that dark matter stands at the top of a dark line of mysteries that scientists throughout the world baffle about and question its existence at the same time. As claimed by scientists, the 27% of our universe or dark matter is already mysterious enough that we know next to nothing about it, and now NASA has discovered stars that dark matter fuels. Will it change the way how we look at dark matter? Let's find out. Imagine celestial bodies so unique and extraordinary that they challenge our comprehension of physics and our theories of stellar evolution. These are stars fueled by dark matter, the enigmatic substance that constitutes most of the matter in the cosmos, yet remains unseen and elusive. In a groundbreaking revelation, NASA has unearthed a new class of stars, intriguingly powered by the elusive dark matter. This discovery, made possible by the keen observations of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, has unveiled a set of stars that could illuminate our understanding of dark matter. This discovery marks a thrilling chapter in our quest to unravel the universe's deepest secrets. In this video, we will discuss how scientists first conceptualized the idea of dark stars, what they discovered when they finally detected them, why these discoveries are crucial for our understanding of the universe's birth and evolution, and what they could mean for our future. So, let's get into the shadowy corners of the cosmos. The concept of dark stars isn't a recent development. It traces back to the 18th century. In the 18th century, English astronomer John Michel proposed the existence of stars so massive and dense that their gravity would prevent any light from escaping them. He called them dark stars. Fast forward to the 21st century. In 2007, a team of physicists led by Catherine Fries from the University of Texas proposed that these dark stars could be powered by dark matter, a mysterious form of matter that does not interact with light or ordinary matter, but only with gravity. Discovering a new type of star is pretty interesting all by itself, but discovering its dark matter that's powering this would be huge, says Catherine Fries. According to Fries's calculations, they could be anywhere from 10 to 1,000 times more massive than the sun and up to 10 billion times brighter. They would also have very low surface temperatures, around 10,000 degrees Kelvin, compared to the sun's 6,000 degrees. This means they would primarily emit infrared light instead of visible light. But where might we find these dark stars? Fries predicted they would form in areas where dark matter was highly concentrated, such as in the centers of galaxies or globular clusters. However, detecting them would be challenging due to their faintness and distance from us. To catch a glimpse of these elusive celestial bodies, one would need a telescope with extraordinary capabilities. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled power and precision, steps into the spotlight. A team of astrophysicists analyzed images from the James Webb Space Telescope and identified three bright objects that might be dark stars. Three early galaxies discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope could actually be titanic stars powered by a dark matter heart. At first glance, the three objects, Jade's GSZZ-130, Jade's GSZ-120, and Jade's GSZ-110, appear to be galaxies. But a closer expectation by astrophysicists suggests they are widely spread, puffed-up objects resembling dark stars, which have been theoretical until now. These theoretical objects are believed to be much larger and brighter than our sun and are powered by particles of dark matter annihilating. If confirmed, dark stars could reveal the nature of dark matter, one of the deepest unsolved problems in all of physics. When we examine the James Webb Space Telescope data, there are two competing hypotheses for these objects, stated Fries. One possibility is that they are galaxies composed of millions of ordinary population three stars. The alternative is that they are dark stars. And astonishingly, a single dark star can emit enough light to rival an entire galaxy of stars. Now let's get back to the video. These stars are relics from the distant past, having formed even before the first atoms of hydrogen and helium 
were birthed in the aftermath of the Big Bang. Their size is so colossal that they could engulf hundreds of suns and still have space to spare. These are the dark stars, and they may hold the keys to deciphering some of the universe's greatest enigmas. The discovery of these stars could also help solve a problem created by the James Webb Space Telescope. The presence of too many large galaxies too early in the universe to fit the predictions of the standard model of cosmology. The three candidate dark stars were initially identified as galaxies in December 2022 by the James Webb Space Telescope's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey. Through spectroscopic analysis, the JADES team verified that the objects were observed at times spanning approximately 320 million to 400 million years post the Big Bang marking them as some of the earliest objects ever observed. The discovery of dark stars has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. Dark stars, with their unique properties, could serve as cosmic laboratories for understanding the universe in new ways. By emitting infrared radiation, they could potentially act as cooling agents, dissipating heat from surrounding gases. Moreover, these intriguing celestial bodies could offer unprecedented insights into the origin and nature of dark matter itself. By studying the interactions of dark matter within these stars, with itself and with ordinary matter, we stand to gain a deeper understanding of their properties and behavior. It also helps us solve some of the biggest puzzles in cosmology. For example, they could explain how the first galaxies formed in the universe, According to the standard model of cosmology, the first galaxies formed from the gravitational collapse of clouds of gas and dark matter in the early universe. However, it is not clear how these clouds could cool down enough to form stars and planets. Furthermore, dark stars could push the boundaries of our understanding of physics and gravity. By observing the life cycle of these stars, from their formation to their eventual demise, we could learn more about how matter behaves under extreme conditions of density and pressure. Will these discoveries potentially lead to new discoveries and advancements in our understanding of the fundamental laws of the universe? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you're as fascinated by these discoveries as we are, make sure to like this video and share it. Don't forget to click subscribe button quicker than a comet streaking across the sky. Comment down your thoughts on dark matter, and since you're still with us, click on the next video on your screen for more exciting journeys through the cosmos. Until next time, keep looking up and wonder about the mysteries of the universe and our place in this vast void of emptiness and secrets.